President, please be seated. The chamber is now back in session. Audience is reprise. I will give the floor now to the lawyer Alain Vanne. Et je donne la parole à Maître Vanne. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Monsieur le Président, Madame, Monsieur les juges, juste une rapide requête. Vous avez annoncé pour demain une réunion de mise en l'état et nous n'avons toujours pas d'agenda. Si, si vous voulez que nous soyons préparés et certains d'entre nous ont leur équipe dispersée um, à travers le monde, nous serions gré de pouvoir um, vous donner un agenda aussitôt que possible. Merci. Merci, Maître Werner, pour cette remarque. I inform the parties and the audience last time that I will notify the agenda for tomorrow's transmission meeting. However, as you all know, we are all very busy with the trial proceedings. Nous sommes However, tous très chargés de travail. Nous avons eu une discussion et nous avons préparé la question agenda et préparé already un ordre du jour après notre dernière discussion pendant la break this afternoon. Et après la pause de cet après-midi, nous allons faire notre dernière agenda et il sera be be notifié à toutes les parties parties finalisé et transmis à toutes les parties. Probably by the end of today's proceeding, we will try our best to provide the agenda so that all the parties can participate and be ready for the discussion. First, that is, do you have the documents ready for the discussion in order to expedite the proceedings so that the chamber can also fulfill other urgent tasks that we need to hold the meetings to discuss and make decisions. But yeah. President, next. I would give the floor to the co-prosecutor to continue the questions to be put to the accusé. accused regarding the armed conflict Concernant the facts le being put before the chamber. If you have further questions, the floor is yours. Avez-vous d'autres questions? Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. Co-procureur Cambodgien, merci, Monsieur le Président. First, I would like to inform the accused that please answer to the point and then try to bit about the booth with text and waste time, and it might be confusing. Directement et de façon concise à la question. The question is. During the time you were the chairman of S21, you said you were not aware that the acts were illegal considering the international law and that you just did following the orders. So, can you tell us when were you aware that those acts were the illegal acts? était de nature illégale. The accused. I became aware Réponse. of those acts when I saw in the introductory submission conscience à la lecture that when I officially became aware C'est là que officiellement j'en ai pris conscience. So that was the time that I became aware of the acts. Co-prosecutor, Mr. President, Question. I do not have any further questions. Monsieur le Président, I would like now to give the floor to my poser. international co-prosecutor to co put more questions. The President, the international co-prosecutor, the floor is Monsieur yours. Le je vous en prie. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honours, Counsel, uh, and the accused. Merci, Monsieur le Président. 
Bonjour, Madame Your Honours, I just have a, a few questions uh, for the accused. I would suggest it would take about 20 minutes. Je crois que cela 20 um, minutes. Just to clarify a couple of points that uh, are a bit unclear points. to me over the last uh, day and a half's uh, testimony. Depuis un jour et demi, qui ne sont pas entièrement clairs pour moi. Uh, Mr. Gangokiv, I'd like to ask you a Monsieur, few questions about uh, the questions differentiation of categorizing a prisoner of S21 as a civilian, a spy, or a, a combatant. As you know, the revised prisoner list, Comme vous le savez, which la everyone has received, um, is based on the documentation that was obtained at S21. At S21. And uh, S21. as Judge Cartwright said today, it, it breaks down into, in terms of Vietnamese, three basic categories of spy, categories. Um, civilian and combatant. Enfin, First, les uh, Your Honours, I would ask that uh, document uh, reference number, it's um, a statement you made to the co-investigating judges in the investigation, and the ERN is 0017-7587, Khmer 0017-7580, and French 0017-7595 uh, be placed on the screen. And Your Honours, well, firstly, I'd ask that the monitor be the prosecution desk. The President, the audiovisual uh, officer, can you link the screen to the computer of the co prosecutor? Thank you, Your Honours, and I've just been reminded the document number is D65. Il s'agit du document D65. Your Honours, I would ask that, uh, Mr. President, that the graphia read out the area that's highlighted in red de ce qui to the accused. En en rouge à Thank you, Mr. President. I saw them in Kumnu. I saw them in Kumnu. I saw them in Kumnu. And finally, after the 17th of April 1975, uh, most Vietnamese living in Cambodia uh, were smashed, and therefore there were a few number of Vietnamese remain. However, I would like to confirm that I uh, saw in the old list of names in uh, S21, the Vietnamese, uh, some of them were remain in Cambodia. The Vietnamese civilian and a soldier uh, received the same treatment. They were interrogated and later uh, sent for execution. Mr. Gangoki, would you agree with, agree with me if I said that it really didn't matter whether any Vietnamese who was a prisoner at S21 uh, was a combatant, que de a spy, si un or a civilian. Un civil, they were going to be killed on the very basis façon, that they were Vietnamese or of Vietnamese origin. Vietnamien Would you agree with that in light Vietnamien. of the statement you made to the investigative judges? Thank you, Mr. President. Your Honours, I'd like to ask that the document number is D 65 uh, to the hearing from the beginning that uh, those who were sent to S21 were considered as enemy to be smashed. And therefore, uh, uh, among those victims, uh, there must be a Vietnamese uh, civilian soldier and spy. So there is no other choice but to smash. If I fail to do that, it, was, it will be my mistake. Uh, and uh, if I can uh, talk about the uh, Vietnamese uh, minority uh, immigrant, and some of them, uh, there were a few immigrant that uh, left uh, until the 17th of April uh, 
The accused uh, uh, it was not only the execution to the Vietnamese, uh, 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 any one Chinese uh, Khmer, Cambodian people, any one who was sent to S21 uh, shall be killed. This is the general policy of uh, the CPK. Um, yes, among them there were Vietnamese uh, victims. Thank you. And the information that you got as the chairman of S21, en tant que as de S21, to whether or not Vietnamese were spies or alleged spies, that primarily came from the confessions, Mais ces the interrogations. Is that correct? En premier lieu, des aveux des personnes interrogées, est-ce exact? I am uh, a bit difficult réponse. because I don't understand well your question, but I try to answer question, uh, based on, I, uh, uh, get, uh, based on uh, my knowledge and my recollection. The Vietnamese who were immigrants who live in Cambodia were sent uh, to S21 not on the ground that they were Vietnamese because they committed some uh, offense and then they were sent. As for the Vietnamese who came from Vietnam in any form, they were arrested and sent to S21 in the name of spies. This, uh, that's all my addition. When you say in the name Question. of spies, how did you learn that? Was it from the uh, information that the prisoner gave themselves? Was that the primary source or was it from other information? Là, la source de l'information, où est-ce que vous trouviez cette information ailleurs? The accused, uh, it was... Uh, uh, later on the con confession, there were no other information, but the real uh, truth is that anyone who came Toute from uh, Vietnam into Cambodia, a civilian Vietnam or combatant, uh, those uh, were considered as spies. So let me uh, indicate uh, to you, the Vietnamese uh, immigrant in Cambodia Ainsi, for a long time, uh, when they were arrested and sent to S21 because they uh, acted against uh, the, the authority. As for the Vietnamese uh, who went into Cambodia after the 17th of April, uh, were considered as spies. Uh, no matter it, it was a wrong accusation or and under the they were sent to S21. Suppose uh, that's Question. my point. Did you ever verify whether the information was given si cette information was correct? Était donnée, était correct ou non? The accused, uh, this uh, story. Uh, I don't know what to say in Réponse. Khmer. It, in dire. French, it's called routine. En Khmer. Mais en français, on pas le it was routine so familiar to me when I became uh, M13. Anyone who was sent to the Déjà, place, it was called a spy. No matter it was wrong or right, M13 had to uh, interrogate and smash. So the Vietnamese people from uh, Vietnam into Cambodia it was considered uh, the spy, no matter if it was uh, wrong or right. Thank you. So Question. if you can answer yes or no, um, you didn't confirm the accuracy of the information that you were given. Do you agree? Uh, 
uh, the AV uh, system, uh, please uh, remove uh, the screen to the normal uh, screen. I would like to indicate that uh, there is something right, something wrong. Uh, for those who were accused of being spies, yes, I can, that's what I can say. Thank you. And, and certainly with the Question. information you were getting from the prisoners, the Vietnamese prisoners, in their confessions, um, you certainly didn't believe the truth in everything that was said. Do you agree? The accused, I don't believe it completely. Je ne le croyais pas entièrement. Question. On the basis of that, would you agree with me Sur that base, avec moi pour many of those Vietnamese that were at S21 could, se sont could S21 people categorized as Vietnamese spies could well have been Vietnamiens. Vietnamese civilians? Would you agree with that? Bien avoir été en fait des civils vietnamiens. Êtes-vous d'accord? The accused, those who were accused of being a Vietnamese spy, no matter a civilian or a, a false combatant, a few number of them civil. may be uh, the innocent civilian people who came to uh, do Il business in Cambodia. It is a small number of them. Nombre de gens. And you weren't to know because Question. you didn't check. Et vous n'avez pas voulu savoir, vous n'avez pas vérifié. The accused, uh, usually, I examine not uh, everything, not uh, in detail for the en Vietnamese général, uh, confession because there were many confessions by the Cambodian uh, victims. Aveux. Thank you. I'm okay, going to move to another topic. Question. And Je Your Honours, it, it will be very brief, this topic. It relates bref, to the uh, 15th of August 1977, and it relates to when um, you state that Nguyen Chia told you that Sun Sen was going to the battlefield. And Your Honour, I would ask that um, the AVU unit uh, switch their monitors to the, to the prosecution, and I would ask that document, I think it's D65, ERN 0014-7522 in the English, the Khmer 0014-6492, and in the French 0014-7896, um, be placed on the screen, or at least the Khmer version. And Your Honour, I would also ask that the particular quote that um, uh, the accused uh, stated to the co-investigative judges be read by the graphia. It appears in a red box. And Your Honour, so I apologise, Your Honour, I'm corrected. It's D11, not 65. Correction de la code du document, il s'agit du document D11. The president, uh, the AV uh, official, uh, please connect uh, uh, the AV system to the uh, monitor of the prosecutor. Uh, the Crefier Psychology, please read uh, the portion in the red uh, box uh, in the uh, documents. Madame la Greffière, veuillez lire la partie du texte qui se trouve en cadre. Respond. Son Sen left uh, because uh, there was a war with Vietnam and he was Vietnam sent to the battlefield. Et, et uh, the co-prosecutor said that uh, there were two or three questions. Number one, uh, when Son Sen uh, ordered to un. go to the uh, battlefield, when was it? Uh, the charge person 
as far as I remember, in 1977. Nguyen called me from S21 to see him on the 15th of August 1977 uh, to receive assignment at Suramarat. Uh, Bodhis uh, High School. Uh, there were only me and him. It was my lui. first time with oh, my first meeting with him. As far as I remember, a comrade Q went to the battlefield and I was in charge uh, in place of him and there were two um, uh, youths uh, to help you to work. Uh, comrade Pang and Lin, um, you know them uh, already. Uh, when Son Sen uh, went to manage um, Pang and Lin, uh, were also um, at S21 already. Thank you. Um, Your Honours, the reason why uh, I mentioned this uh, document was because in the English um, it reads Son Sen departed because the war with Vietnam was very strong and that uh, drew my attention to it. Um, I assume that the word the war that was very strong was not uh, placed in the Khmer or, or may, maybe it wasn't said. But in any event, um, um, Mr. Kangugiev, you said in that statement to the co-investor judges that um, Son Sen was sent to the battlefield because of the war. That was your understanding in August 1977, wasn't it? He was going to assist in the war effort. Son Sen allait soutenir l'effort de guerre. The accused. Uh, uh, these are my understanding at that time. Oui, c'est ce que j'ai cru comprendre à l'époque. Thank you. Question. It's just that in your testimony, it was a little unclear about um, the, the main purpose of. Uh, Sun Sen leaving, but if that's your Sun understanding at the time, thank you. Que vous aviez bien cru comprendre à l'époque. Très bien. I would now like to ask you very briefly about Je vous poser the film that was made sur at S21, film qui a été uh, when the, the Vietnamese soldiers uh, were brought in ont été or, or, or gathered to um, make confessions on a, a documentary or a film. Rassembler pour, uh, and my first question is, that film, was film. that taken in your presence? Were you there? Did you see it? Um, I don't think it was taken in my presence. Um, the president, um, the AV official, please uh, disconnect um, the, sc uh, the screen from the co-prosecutor screen and uh, move to the uh, normal screen. Um, please, uh, uh, the floor is your judge, um, Lawrence. Judge Laver, you have the floor. Monsieur Judge Le Procureur, Laverne, je pense que vous faites Mr. référence Smith, à I believe that you're referring séquences to sequences, film sequences from que a film les procureurs ont eu l'intention de verser au débat et qui a fait l'objet, me semble t de la part de la défense ou de quoi s'agit-il Est-ce so, exactly est qu'il s'agit d'un uh, film tourné par uh, les autorités vietnamiennes à leur entrée dans, dans Phnom Penh Est-ce qu'il s'agit du Or film qui fait l'objet d'une uh, requête de la part de la défense et sur laquelle la Chambre n'est pas encore statuée il s'agit d'un autre film, je ne sais pas très bien de quoi nous parlons aujourd'hui. Thank you, Anna. Sorry for being confusing. Um, I'm referring to the film that uh, Judge Hartwright referred to this morning, where um, Vietnamese prisoners, um, during, um, during the period that they were detained or when they were first arrested, were used for propaganda purposes. So, 
Le Président, Madame la juge Cotteret, je vous en prie. Juste pour clarifier, je n'ai pas intenté une référence à un film ce matin. Je me référence à un film ce matin. Donc, nous sommes encore en train de savoir quel film c'est. Merci. Donc, je ne suis pas sûr moi-même de comprendre de quel film vous parlez maintenant. Peut-être pour clarifier, Madame la juge Cotteret, je vous en prie. Peut-être pour clarifier, Madame la juge Cotteret, je vous en prie. Peut-être pour clarifier, Madame la juge Cotteret, je vous en prie. Peut-être pour clarifier, Madame la juge Cotteret, je vous en prie. Peut-être pour clarifier, Madame la juge Cotteret, je vous en prie. Peut-être pour clarifier, Madame la juge Cotteret, je vous en prie. Peut-être pour clarifier, Madame la juge Cotteret, je vous en prie. Peut-être pour clarifier, Madame la juge Cotteret, je vous en prie. Peut-être pour clarifier, Madame la juge Cotteret, je vous en prie. Peut-être pour clarifier, Madame la juge Cotteret, je vous en prie. Peut-être pour clarifier, Madame la juge Cotteret, je vous en prie. Peut-être pour clarifier, Madame la juge Cotteret, je vous en prie. Peut-être pour clarifier, Madame la juge Cotteret, je vous en prie. Peut-être pour clarifier, D65, ERN number English 0017-7587, French 0017-7595, and Khmer 0017-7580. Et 0017 75 en Khmer, il s'agit du document D65. Faire afficher ce texte à l'écran pour que la graphière puisse en donner lecture. Judge Laverne has a question. Juge Laverne, vous avez une question. Peut-être pour simplifier les débats, est-ce que l'accusé peut nous dire si, oui ou non, un film concernant des prisonniers vietnamiens a été tourné à S21 à la fin de propagande Est-ce que vous avez compris la question est-ce qu'un film a été tourné à S21 concernant des prisonniers militaires vietnamiens un film tourné à des fins de propagande Est-ce que, oui ou non, un tel film a été tourné à S21 Est-ce qu'un film a été tourné à S21 Un film tourné à S21 Your honors, and it's my apology. I uh, think that uh, you uh, posed the question to the co-prosecutor. Excusez-moi, je croyais que vous posiez la question au co-procureur. Now I would like to indicate to your honors, uh, frankly and respectfully, uh, there was one film. Est-ce que la question est posée? Je peux vous dire qu'un film a été tourné, which. Uh, took by Comrade Tang, uh, Or, the uh, nephew of Tain, uh, Pol Pot at S21. Vœu de Pol Pot, film tourné à S21. And such filming uh, it was uh, the conducted in two places. Uh, uh, one place is next to my house, as I uh, told the hearing this morning. Comme je dit à ce matin, in my house. It dans was ma maison. in my house. C'était dans ma maison. And uh, the second scene, it was uh, in between uh, Monivong Boulevard, next to uh, Prat Monivong Boulevard. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, next to Mao Zedong Boulevard. Du boulevard Mao Zedong sera pour l'accusé. This is uh, the place there was a booth around and talking about the Vietnamese soldier surrender raising their hand to surrender. Voilà des soldats vietnamiens qui se rendent. And for uh, the film there was a uh, taken by uh, at S21 and uh, le film the soldier was the Vietnamese soldier uh, selecting from S21, it is true, exact. <coughs> in order to uh, a tool for propaganda. Thank you. And when you say in your house, your house was your office, is that correct? Quand vous dites votre maison, c'est aussi votre bureau, n'est-ce pas? Mr. Co-Prosecutor, let me respond to your question in two parts. First, je dois vous répondre en deux parties. About the time when Sun Sen left, quand Sun Sen est parti, as you have said earlier, let me just add to that. The second part is about the filming. 
le moment où Salsen est parti, on s'est donné le message de Fiel. Quand Tiamat a appelé, il m'a dit que Salsen était parti sur le camarade Kiel et qu'il devait aller sur le front. Et que lui, il l'a remplacé. Je ne savais pas ce qui s'est passé, mais les documents de survivants sont en train de se passer. Je vois encore les signatures de mon supérieur après le 15 d'août de mes supérieurs. That is, until the 11th of November 1977, I still saw his signature and my communication with him on the on the phone was still ongoing for quite some time. So let me just verify that. Uncle Noon told me that Camera Kiel went the battlefield due to the requirement. And secondly, in regards to The matter that I reported already to your honors, it was done at my house, which was also my office at street number 95. So my house was actually adjacent to the Monivong Boulevard. Thank you. And the, uh, the time that this film was shot, was it, was it taken before Sun Sen had gone to the battlefield or afterwards? The accused, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, can you assist me with that? There was a meeting in Jakarta. There was an international conference in Jakarta by the heads of state, and Pol Pot asked S21 to film the Vietnamese prisoner of war and a photo 18 times 20 and another set of filming for the meetings in Jakarta. So the filming was in response to the requirement for the meeting in Jakarta, and probably you can't find out the exact date for that. So you can't tell us whether it was 1976, 1977, or 1978, is that correct? The accused. Thank you. Oh, just for the year, yes, I can tell you it's in 1978. 78. Thank you very much. Uh, Your Honours, I'd now ask that the Question. audio visual unit play a short video clip. It's uh, G69 um, dash V0017 2621. <coughs> it's at 12 minutes and 28 seconds and 12 minutes to 50 seconds. Your Honour, obviously, it's quite a short clip. And uh, I would ask that the Marc clip be played twice. And I would also ask the accused if you can look at the clip very closely, particularly the surroundings um, in the video clip. The President, the Audio visual officer, can you arrange the films to be shown as requested by the co-prosecutor? ที่เอาดับเบิลแพลนแบนเซียวรีวิวเดอะแพลนออฟเดอะคอมมิวนิสต์พาร์ตี้ทูเซตอัพพับบิทไรเจนอัตโตเลเวลอัตแคมพูช
Le prisonnier de guerre qui avait été a révélé que le plan du PC du Parti communiste du Vietnam était de mettre en place un régime fantoche à tous les niveaux du Kampuchea. Il ressort à l'évidence de ses aveux que les Vietnamiens voulaient forcer le Kampuchea à entrer dans une fédération de chinoise dominée par le Vietnam. Thank you. I hope the translation came through in uh, all three languages. Uh, Mr. Gangook, Eve, is this the video clip or the, the film that you just referred to earlier, the one shot in your office? If you need it played again to, to verify, we can do that. Est-ce que vous voulez qu'on revisualise cette séquence de manière à vous permettre de bien regarder ce qui se passe? The accused, I would not uh, demand the film to be shown again. Is there any my translation of the voice on the film? Your Honours, I, I had the Khmer translation coming through on my uh, my earphones. The booths were both all given the uh, the transcript. Um, obviously, it was very short. And um, if uh, if the accused didn't receive that, or Khmer speakers didn't receive that. I would ask that the Khmer booth uh, simply read out um, that very short transcript. The accused, I would like to have the Khmer translation because what I heard was only the Vietnamese and the English language. I mean, the president, do you have the Khmer translation of that uh, text? Because the chamber could hear, could hear only the Vietnamese and the English languages. Your Honours, the transcript, uh, the English transcript was given to the uh, French booth and the Khmer booth and the English booth. Um, earlier today for the purpose of reading out um, the, uh, the voiceover. And I would just ask that um, if that could be read out, because they should have it. If they haven't got it, um, it can be uh, got to them very quickly. possible. POW Tran Van Tong revealed the plans of the Communist Party of Vietnam was to set up a puppet regime. The President, can you also give us any reference number of the Khmer translation, if you have it? Uh, Your Honor, there is no um, reference number for the Khmer translation, it's just the video. I do have a copy of uh, the text. It's about five lines. Um, I could either read it out, I could read it out, or I could give it to the graphia to read out, and then it will be translated through the normal course. Mr. President, the text that you have, what is it? Where it's from? Your Honour, it's the uh, it's the English of the video clip, uh, word for word. s'agit de la transcription en anglais de la voix off dans la séquence. The graph here. Le président, j'invite. Can you take the document from the co-prosecutor? A prendre le ce document des mains du co-procureur. Je 
crois que le plus important, c'est de savoir Judge si Laverne, think, les interprètes sont en capacité de traduire ce qui est dit par cette voix off. Donc, est-ce que les cabines peuvent nous dire si elles sont en capacité de faire ceci ou pas Les cabines nous disent si elles sont en capacité de nous donner une traduction avec la traduction. Your Honor, um, I was aiming for this to be very smooth this afternoon, and uh, that's why we provided the, that document um, to the booth earlier this morning. Um, in any event, it's, it's probably not so important the words, the actual video clip itself um, showing the office, but bearing in mind the accused would like to hear the voiceover, um, I'm happy to read it out or however it can be done. L'accusé, mais je peux très bien relire la transcription en anglais de ce document. Il n'y a pas de problème. J'attends votre permission. Je crois qu'effectivement, le plus simple, ça serait que vous le lisiez. Judge Lavier, je pense que la chose la plus facile serait de vous lire et puis de le traduire. Et pour ajouter quelque chose à ça, c'était ma seule copie, donc je vous demande que j'ai ça de retour pour que je puisse le lire, Your Honor. Je vais faire remarquer que l'exemplaire que je vous ai remis était le seul exemplaire que j'avais à ma disposition. Si vous voulez bien me redonner cet exemplaire, je vous remercie. Je crois qu'on pourrait enlever maintenant ce Judge qui est Laverne, à l'écran parce que c'est la plus grande remove, utilité. Uh, on the screen because it is no longer of uh, much use. Um, thank you Mr President. Um, Mr Gangook Eve, I'll just read out briefly the transcript Monsieur that Kengeke was Eve, the voice over on that uh, that video clip you just saw. It states POW Tran Van Tung revealed the plans of the Communist Party of Vietnam was to set up puppet regimes at all levels in Kampuchea. From these confessions, it's evident that the Vietnamese aimed at forcing Kampuchea to join in an Indochina federation dominated by, and that's where the English finished on the video. My question to you, um, is that video clip la que je a clip la, of la what you had just talked about earlier, que ce, the Vietnamese prisoners being forced to confess in your office à at S21? De ces qui de, euh, aux aveux dans votre bureau. The accused. Mr. President, let me... Give my observation to this film. Je vais vous faire part de mes observations vis-à-vis -vis de cette séquence. En général, it is acceptable. However, the confession at the time, Je I don't think they were allowed to say that la... much. They would, be, je pense pas they would stand up and que les salute and give their name. Grand chose. Ils their age, saluer, donner leur nom, when they joined the army and their ranks, and that they were sent to fight. Nom, and servi, their hand was still um, up there in a salute gesture. Et ensuite, if they spoke for long, then it means they, si they would use the tape from the confession. It is not the actual cue filming produced by the S21. So this is my observation of the film. Uh, autre chose. Et donc, tel est Thank you. So just to be clear, are you saying that film wasn't taken in your office? Monsieur it was another one. Le coproducteur international, est-ce que vous êtes en train de dire que ce film n'a pas été pris, n'a pas été tourné à votre domicile? The accused. Thank you for your clarification. My workplace is at street number 95, and where Brother Mom Nai interrogated the Vietnamese prisoners were to the west. So the Vietnamese prisoner interrogation place was at a different location. And 
and the tapes for radio broadcast was at another location and the filming was shot with the hand raised in the salute gesture. So that was in general the view that I uh, can accept it. All right, but do you recognize your office? Was that your office or not? Is it your bureau that served as the place of the filming of this sequence or not? Demand the prosecutor. The accused. The accused. I could not remember the tiles on the floor, but the background where the Vietnamese soldier salute. It was a symbol of the democratic Cambodia, and the image was unclear. However, let me accept that this is my workplace because I cannot remember the color of the floor. I briefly saw the symbol of the decay on the background, and the uniform is also weak, but it was in a similar form. But I think the confession is too long. It's not the one that was made before me. Thank you. Devant moi, sous just mes yeux. perhaps uh, a last couple Le of questions, and it's just in relation to your memory. Um, would it be fair to say that it's, difficult, it's been difficult for you to remember um, a number of aspects of your knowledge of the armed conflict in court today because of the years that have passed? avec le Vietnam aujourd'hui devant la cour, étant donné le nombre d'années qui se sont écoulées entre ces événements et aujourd'hui. The accused, uh, it's partly correct. And the other part is that I knew very little about it. As I have said earlier and in forms, the, your honors, I knew very little. Thank, thank you, honors. I have no further questions. The President, next, we would like to give the floor to the civil party lawyers, starting from civil party lawyers group four first. The floor is yours. Le groupe numéro quatre en premier. Je vous donne, nous vous donnons la parole. Maître Hong Kim Soon. Mr. Hong Kong Thun. Thank you, Mr. President, uh, your honors, and the court. I have very few questions concerning the armed conflict. Today, I have heard that Mr. Kang Gek Il, alias Deutsch, mentioning about the release of the hostages or the resistance movement uh, of full role, and uh, he said that uh, if time allowed, then he would describe further concerning that, uh, those people. So my question is, did uh, the S21 only release uh, the full row people? No other people. So you say that the Vietnamese soldiers or the Vietnamese spies were arrested and sent to S21. I may ask you, for example, during the conflicts, whether it is a small a big conflict uh, between Cambodia and Vietnam, and after the 17 of April 1975, did you know or had you heard anything about those conflicts across the border between Cambodia and Vietnam? The accused. I would like 
to state that uh, this morning we have seen the documents that 25 people were sent from Sa'ang. The president interrupts. The accused uh, should not respond to these questions and you already uh, answered. So the lawyer is advised to ask another question. Mr. Hongkong Soon, thank you, Mr. President. I'm asking here whether he knows for sure about the declaration of the war uh, started back then. Regarding the transferring of the uh, prisoners of war or spies that we are now discussing, just now, the co prosecutor put questions concerning Son Sen who left for the battlefield and that uh, we also saw the video footage so my question is ma question is la suivante have you ever stated before the military court devant le tribunal militaire I would like uh, to now refer it to document with ER number 003 Document E52 slash 4.41 at that time, Mr. Kasselwood uh, was in attendance. It was the interview dated on the 5th of June 2002. With your leave, I would like uh, your honor to instruct the greffier to read the page uh, as I mentioned with ERN 0032-0808 in Khmer. I don't think I have the French or English version of the document. I would like Mr. Kang Eo to also respond to my question regarding this point. I would like to uh, start from a letter. Commencer par une lettre. Uh, response. The president, uh, the lawyer, could you please be precise from which part of the page would you like the greffier to read out? Mr. Hong Kong Soon, your honor, the president, actually here there is no uh, page reference, but there is an ERN number in Khmer with ERN 0032080808. And document E52 slash 4.41. President, so you would like uh, the whole part starting with response to be read out entirely? Is that correct? The president, if we counting from the last row to the top, it was on, it is on line number nine downwards. So I would like not to read it myself. I would like uh, the president to instruct the greffier to read it out so that it can be heard publicly. Mr. President, uh, Mrs. Psychology, have you located the document and ready to read out as requested? <laughs> For me, I am in charge to assign not to interrogate any prisoner and to prepare documents of the uh, prisoner so that it could be sent to the higher level for livelihood uh, meetings. 
soient transmises leurs aveux à l'échelon supérieur. I have been et very busy reading de vie. my own prisoners when the cadres were arrested quand les cadres ont tous été arrêtés I became the secretary of the northwest zone nord-est northeast correction so noon cheer à ce moment-là was the secretary and I was with Sonsen I received order in two ways. First, I received uh, order through telephone. Number two, he was calling me to work with him. And later on, I worked with Nguyen Chir. He never phoned me to work with him once a, after two or three days. I would like to also point out that Bernard was a chairman. The person named Chum Sam Aok, alias Pang, and comrade Lin. Uh, Mr. Hong Kong Soon, I think uh, that's enough. Mr. Hong Kong Soon, could uh, Mr. Kang Kek Il clarify to the court concerning the departure of Son Sen to the battlefield? And in the document, you said you were very close with him. So, regarding the statement, the passage actually read out by uh, the greffier, what do you mean by way of having been close with Son Sen, although when he went to the battlefield? The accused, I think the reading of the passage is rather uneasy. I would like Mr. Uh, Kum Soon to read uh, it instead of uh, the, uh, the greffier. I think uh, I have not yet located the document. Mr. President, uh, could you please uh, arrange the document to be delivered to uh, the accused? And I will read out this to the cloud. Si l'on peut donner lecture à ce document. I am now reading the passage according to the request made by the accused. Page number two. It reads. It reads. For me, I am in charge of uh, managing the prisoners uh, to be interrogated and prepare documents for the prisoners and make sure they were sent to the higher level during the livelihood uh, meetings. In conducting the training session, diriger les formations éducatives selon les besoins. However, I had been busy uh, reading my own prisoners' confessions. When all the cadres had been arrested, I became the secretary of the northeast zone. At that time, the chief of S21 was Nguyen Chia himself. I was with Son Sen. I received the order in two ways. First, I got the phone call. Number two, he called me to work with him directly. And later on, I worked with Nguyen Chia. I would like to end it now. Arrêter la lecture. 
the accused. Uh, which part would you like Accusé. me to clarify? Mr. Hong Kong Soon, what I have read has connection to what you stated about this situation uh, during the war between Democratic Cambodia and Vietnam when Son Say left for the battlefield. I don't know when the document uh, dated, but uh, it stated about when you worked uh, uh, with Son Sen or lived uh, with Son Sen, and that you said after all cadres were arrested, you became the uh, secretary of the Northeast Zone, the accused. I think this document derives too far from the truth. Je pense que ce How est trop could I become the secretary of the Northeast Zone? And Col Nguyen, of course, was the secretary uh, of Northeast. And uh, brother Wee was the deputy secretary. I think uh, the recording, uh, part of the, re uh, the wordings might have missed out. Because Angkor Nguyen became the secretary of the Northeast Zone when Ya was arrested. And number two, I think it is not strange that I worked with Son Sen and received orders and I was under his control and directed by him, assigned any works by him almost every evening through the telephone communication from him. And uh, I also worked with him when he wanted to work uh, with him personally. But for Uncle Nguyen, he did not call me, but he asked a comrade Pan to contact me. So this is the truth. And Son Sen went to the battlefield, uh, which was very needed at the battlefield that he had to go. I probably um, made it less, un uh, less clear when I said that there would have been uh, severe wars, that's why uh, okay. Son Sen left. But on the 11th, in 1977, uh, Mr. Hong Kong soon interrupts. What I'm talking about here is more about to work closely with uh, Son Sen. Did you, uh, did I, do I understand you correctly that you work closely with Son Sen at that time? The accused. I never lived with my superior in his home. To say that I worked directly with him here means that I was under his direct control and supervision according to Article 8 of the Statute of the CPK. Thank you, said Mr. Kumsu. And the next question, you said you truly was aware of uh, the event uh, in 1978, on the 6th of January 1978. My question is, you mentioned about the conflict in the document uh, of uh, Mr. Nayan Chanda, did you know that after Vietnam liberated South Vietnam, I mean two weeks after the liberation of South Vietnam, the Khmer Rouge troops captured or, or went to Koh Tral. Phu Kok in Vietnamese, and you also mentioned about the capture of the Mayaques ship. So do you know more about this? The accused, I'm sorry, Mr. Kumsuan, I have no idea about it because I was not at work. I was waiting for some information from my superior. That's why the commu communication was lost at that time. Mr. Kumsuan, thank you. I would like to go back a little bit to the resistance movement uh, when you mentioned about the release 
of the prisoner of war who was sent and uh, arrested and sent to S21. I'm not quite sure. You said that the Pol Pot never used his rights to release anyone sent to S21. But this morning, you said, you mentioned about the release of Fulro, whom uh, Pol Pot believed were friends. So did Pol Pot exercise his right to release the foreigners or son droit à libérer des étrangers ou qu'en est-il Réponse. Thank you, Mr. Hong Kong Soon, for seeking clarification. Merci Now de we have to understand about the CPK policy and the bien comprendre line, la because the, the, the political PCK. line of the CPK is that enemy had to be smashed, regardless écrasé. of prisoners of war, intellectuals, whoever it was. When anyone was regarded as enemy, then he would uh, be smashed. Uh, so he could not exercise éliminé. this right uh, to uh, release any Et enemy. So in Khmer, as you know the expression that when uh, we are drowning, so when anyone who was regarded as an enemy previously, he turned to treat them as friends. So it is in time that uh, the full row people were later on regarded as enemy, uh, excuse me, uh, as a friend. So when they were regarded as enemies, they would not have been released, only when they became friends. Mr. Komsoon, thank you. I have another question. question. Je vais vous poser autre question. And this question is related to the question made uh, uh, put to you by the co-prosecutor. You said you have just learned about the human rights law or conventions when you were called and interviewed by the co-investigating judges. I would like to also know when you attended study session or in the session in which presentations were presented at the standing committee for example, du and that uh, par there had been the sessions about the signature or the signing on the par exemple, sur la signature laws, international laws, human rights laws with other international community. Were you aware of those signatures? De normes de droit international the accused, uh, I would like to confirm that I never attended, attended any session at the standing committee level. However, the person who came to present uh, parties' documents to us was uh, people from the standing committee, you were Son Sein, of course. I never attended such sessions as Sumit or Brother Mut. I studied uh, among with my comrades, uh, the medium level comrades uh, and the uh, Son Sein's, uh, 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 I mean, session chaired by Son Sein, don't promote my status to be the standing committee. And the material introduced uh, was not part of uh, the foreign owned uh, documents uh, because it would be viewed as uh, the capitalist or imperialist kind of documents. Pas de documents. You can refer to other documents, uh, 078056. So there, there have been, there, there are 396 pages concerning the laws presented to us by the CPK. There, it, there was no mentioning about any signatures uh, on the international rights because Pol Pot regarded those laws as the capitalist laws. Thank you. My question now uh, relates. Merci. As, as raised by the co-prosecutor, the invasion by the Vietnamese soldiers in a large scale, the second time. As for you yourself, 
that you have reported to the chamber about the indirect order d'ordres indirects to your staff or your subordinates à vos ou à votre to transport the prisoner of war who were the Vietnamese soldiers. My question is, when you received those prisoners and the list of the prisoners, including the Indians, the Laotians, uh, nationals, avait what la liste were they involved in any conflicts or in Il any armed conflict when they were de sent? De Laosien, et d'autres nationalités. Est-ce que ce sont des personnes qui étaient aussi impliquées dans le conflit? Mr. President, Réponse. on this matter, it is outside the armed conflict Ceci, uh, du cadre du between conflit armé the Cambodian and Vietnam. Le Cambodge et le Vietnam. Hong Kong soon, thank you. Question, merci. You told the chamber previously Vous avez déclaré à la chambre regarding the conflict between Pol Pot and Le Yun. Le conflict entre Pol Pot. And my question to you is Vous avez exposé plutôt à la chambre précédemment le conflit Let me first uh, Pot state Pot that Les this is about fighting back and forth vous avez parlé to simply put it that way. Mutuel. So what you knew about the conflict, did it happen after the 17th April or was it, or did it happen long time ago as you talked about the event in 1973? So the armed conflict, although it does not fall within the jurisdiction of 1975. Was the conflict interrelated? That is, did it happen before the 17 April 75, or it falls within this period until the 6th of January 79 jurisdiction? Circonscrit à la période de compétence du tribunal. The accused. Réponse. The parties. The theory of the Marxism Leninism is that La it, it distinguishes between the peace and war. During the peace time, Cambodia and Vietnam hit a conflict. As I already said, it started from 1954. Le Yun still posted himself as the father of the Indochina and his plan as the father of the Indochina raised this political conflict and it kept, con it kept continuing. And I believe within the political conflict between these two individuals with two separate parties with their own soldiers, then they would try to defeat one another. It's unavoidable. If they could then be defeated with one kick, then probably just one hit would, be, would defeat another one. So I can say these two communist parties did not have the same goal, and the conflicts arose politically from these two. So the previous conflict, un rôle, le conflict. was a political donc conflict un which politique. encapsulated all the events. And after the 6th January, les the war became more Et apparent, and that janvier, it means they could not negotiate because of the intensification of the war. So I did not pay much attention to that. I just tried my help to accomplish my work. So on one side, we talk about the view. On the other side, we talk about the daily operation. Because every, a few, every few days or one week, I was asked to be followed on the work progress at my office. The president, the chamber will adjourn for half an hour. Le président, nous allons yes, uh, suspendre we have certain issues to be discussed regarding the scheduling of the hearing. Le calendrier we will resume at 20 past 3.